Hey there guys, and welcome to another Factorial Reddit Weekly. I'm Exterminator, and thank you for joining me again. Uh, this week, uh, let's see what we got. I was <laughs> going to say something really dumb, uh, but we'll start up here. Uh, I've already looked at this. is fantastic. The Aftermath. Uh, oh my goodness. This is actually ridiculous. Like, look how piled... There's a dead spawner that you can barely even see because there's a uh, biter upon biter upon biter. This guy, I don't know if he's alive or dead. He looks kind of dead, but he's like, was in the process of trampling over all his friends. Oh my god, dude. This is insane. But I love it. The only good bug is a dead bug. <laughs> what? Uh, what is this? Doing my part. <laughs> oh my gosh. We are the good guys, right? Sure, sure. Just don't breathe the air. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that kind of ties in interestingly with the Friday Facts where they were like, yeah, it's, it's kind of a dark game. <laughs> I could watch this all day. Um, as could I. This is really really awesome. Um, a lot of work was put into this, uh, aesthetically. Obviously the trains are like the main attraction here, but I, I personally really like the aesthetics that have been, uh, put into this. Not gonna watch it for the full two minutes, but, uh, this is very, very mesmerizing for sure. I love just watching trains go through intersections, man. Man, this is so cool. It's inefficient, but nice looking. <laughs> uh, just curious, how would the best roundabout be? Ideally, no roundabout. Add more parallel track. Yes. No roundabouts. I completely agree. Feeding the biters. Oh, dear God. It's actually really intriguing how this train, because it like goes through and then like reverses the direction with which it's going. See how it's how there's a track um, in the middle um, that's empty. It's because it actually ends up turning around here and going out, like reversing on itself. Here we go. So this is really crazy to watch. Makes me really nervous, man. Oh my god, it's just like a giant anaconda getting ready to strangle, or in the process of strangling its prey. And here we go. I love the landmines, too. Oh my god, it's just raining down hell on things. This is absolutely fantastic. Look at that. I'm gonna do one of these in my death world playthrough I do, or like 10. How practical or resource efficient this outpost is, but I think most of them miss the point. It's a lot more fun to watch a 30 or 50 car train roll in and start to unload tons of pure death and destruction upon the biters and to make efficient outposts. I completely agree. <laughs> 100%. Uh, this alien was attacking my turret for 15 minutes. My robot kept repairing it. <laughs> ah, yes. Good robot. Persistent little bugger. I'll show myself out. <laughs> can't talk uh i can't tell if you're talking about the robot or the biter ender's game biters were called ro buggers interesting this is hilarious oh that's me that's not what i was saying was hilarious <laughs> i was saying uh this is why you focus the healers oh my gosh yes <laughs> uh i don't like that Robot, Roboport is full of bees. Oh my gosh. The names people submitted for this stuff is hilarious. <laughs> yes, it's actually not full of bees. There's some missing. We must construct additional bees. <laughs> uh, I just, I think it's really great how they, how people's names go on like Roboports and stations and stuff. I mean, stations you end up changing pretty much right away, but Roboports and labs usually not. Well, you can't. Is why not? <laughs> uh, direct insertion fun. Oh, this is really cool. So, 
It's a combo of speed productivity modules. A two to one for circuits. Um, seems about right. I'm not sure how close that is ratio wise with one productivity and speeds, but um, anyway, this is really neat. I like how they export like out the side with the underground belt. These long hand inserters next to power poles like you've done, but I simply cannot watch them in action, not cringe. Ah, yes, passing through the power poles. Yeah, that does drive me a little bit crazy uh, as well, but it is a good trick if, if you don't mind it. Friday Facts, awesome one as always. Uh, my 16 reactor design. Speaking of awesome, holy moly, 16 reactors. This is a lot of power worth. I don't know how much this is. I'm going to say like 4 gigawatts maybe. Uh, can you measure the stable power output? Cheat sheet says two times. 2.4 gigawatts? Is there a um, post by the person who made this? Mm, no. I don't know. Maybe it's 2.4 gigawatts power output. I'm not sure. I had terrible. It's a really cool design, though. I like it. I have a terrible slash awesome idea. I don't see anything terrible about this. <laughs> oh my god. You notice they've already launched 8100 rockets. Um, so here, so there I was needing more red circuits for my latest vanilla base. I spent a bit of time to put down these belts, watching it flow like a river makes it worthwhile. Some quick details. Each band of belts is eight times express transport belts. Part feeding the smelters, 96 belts wide in total. It's about 135,000 express transport belts, 9,000 express undergrounds, 1,500 splitters. I'll put it peak should be 86,400 advanced circuits per minute. All materials produced on site via belt, no trains or bots. 4,200 plus beacons. Um, this is just for red circuits, by the way. <laughs> if you didn't gather that, <laughs> this is my kind of base, man. Whew. 86,000 red circuits a minute. That is real impressive. And there I'm getting annoyed because I need 6k belts to plug an iron patch into my main bus because my spawn patch is not big enough to support four belts of iron and half one fifth belt steel. <laughs> trains. Yes, trains are the answer. Uh, I just got this game. I'm pretty disappointed. I'm disappointed five hours just effing disappeared. I'm supposed to be working. <laughs> what day did you start? Just checking it didn't eat 29 hours. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Importance of wall layout in one picture. Oh yeah, so this is really cool. Um, what's What's been done here is there's gaps um, purposely left here, I believe. I think we can read the, or maybe they're not purpose. Um, let's actually read, I read these comments, but uh, I'm pretty sure those were intentional. I took a screenshot nicely, illustrating correct and incorrect wall design. The bottom diagonal funnel is just a bit too long, so the buyers snacked on the wall instead of pathing around them in turn, making it easier for later, get, later ones to get through. Funnel, the top funnel, worked exactly as intended, leading all bodies directly into flames without causing them to attack the walls. Um, well, so yeah, if this is a funnel, I mean, you can see that, like, this is open. Um, obviously, to funnel biters, and it has to have a way for them to get in initially. So I think these gaps are intentional um, to have them kind of flow in, and they just get wrecked, like, right here, as you can see. Um, so this is really cool. This is a, a really good example of, like, strategic uh, wall design and stuff. I love Factorio, but I don't have any motivation to play it. Not just Factorio, I can't find a game that I want to play, mostly because my friends don't have it, I can't play it or just don't like it, so I'm alone with this game and I hate being alone or playing alone. Any tips on how I can start a world and not close up media? Edit, thanks for all these nice comments, I even got some friends to play with. Nice! Um, disable sounds and music and listen to music, podcast, movie, series while you play. That's a very excellent idea. Don't get me wrong, it's not that I find Factorio music sound is bad it just gets repetitive and other media gets me in different gaming moods it's not work well with story driven games yeah this is a fantastic idea um looks like they found some people to play with too but uh you know it can help a lot to um 
you know, maybe have a TV series going on your other monitor or a podcast or just like a really good music playlist, um, book on CD, CD, what, what age are we in? <laughs> Audio book would be the correct word. Um, uh, stuff like that. Uh, today I learned biters won't attack you if the path doesn't generate. You mean because the chunks are not uncovered yet? That's interesting. Surprisingly, many black chunks are actually already generated. Even pollution never touched them, but in this case, if there was a way to remove the fog of war, it would look like the biters are on the island. Um, yeah, basically. So that's pretty interesting. I've done it. I've automated yellow science. I know I'm going to need a F ton more, but god damn, it took a while. Ah, the one science assembler. I can sympathize with this. <laughs> this is, uh, obviously when I started, they didn't have yellow science to this uh, degree, but this is definitely uh, basically how my first base has worked. One assembler, thrown together, and uh, that was about it. Congratulations, when I first made my yellow science, I had so much trouble getting the materials to it. In fact, my purple and yellow science was so hard to make in my factory, I made a new one. <laughs> yep. I can I can definitely understand that as well. It's first starting the game, man. Yellow science. Well, all sciences can be difficult, but like blue and yellow, it's really hard. This is what my friend made after 20 minutes playing the game for the first time. I always find interesting watching someone new to the game. Sorry for the quality it was on. Stream a stream. Um. Kate. <laughs> Okay, all right, all right. So they're um, mining this one into this one, interestingly, I guess to keep it fueled, which is smart. Oh, so they do have that. Um, they have figured out to mine one into the other to keep it fueled. They come here, these two, <laughs> I like how the belt, like, <laughs> this is actually really, this is pretty smart, actually. I like this. The new hint system, I haven't seen that. That's a funny config that he made, though. Pretty interesting. Would be fun to watch a new player play on stream. It would. And, uh, yeah, this is the new tooltip system, which I think looks pretty cool. I haven't actually experienced it firsthand, but it does look quite good. Well, I've experienced a new tooltip, so I did a video on it, not the, like, hints thing. Just got run over like a complitron in the opening tutorial during one of the cutscenes. Game wasn't sure what to do and crashed. Is there a way to kill it for revenge? <laughs> oh, my God. Killed by Compilatron. That's actually hilarious. Get some kind of revenge by submitting a bug report on the forum and make them change Compilatron's code effectively. Killing the old one and making a new one. Yes. Devs will eat this bug up with the highest priority. The hate bug especially crashes. I bet this will be fixed in no time after submitting. <laughs> that is very true. They are extremely quick fixing bugs. We need to put items on different lanes, but you've had three hours of sleep. Okay, uh, I'm not entirely sure what's happening, um, so it's undergrounding from somewhere up there, a completely unneeded underground belt right here. <laughs> this is really funny though, I think I've done stuff like this before. Sleep, what's that? It's a time when the factory is not growing. Well, that just sounds plain old inefficient. <laughs> That's why I automated it. Alright, sleep sounds amazing, or do you outsource your sleep? Oh my god, wouldn't that be great? Like, what if there was some way where you could, like, transfer someone else's sleep to you? So, like, someone would sleep, and then, like, you lay down with some sort of device. I know this is, like, a tangent, but... And, and then, like, I feel like there was a James Bond movie about that or something. It wasn't Not about it, but wasn't there a guy in, like, a James Bond movie that, like, slept... Like, got a full night's sleep in, like, an hour or something. I don't know. But anyway, if someone else sleeps and you, like, take a device and lay down for, like, 30 minutes and it transfers, like, all the, like, whatever you get by sleeping, like, recovering and, like, your brain organizing thoughts and stuff, um, to, like, that to you, and then you're just rested, um, I don't know. That's not really possible, but <laughs> I think you messed up east and, w oh, okay, so it ain't much, but it's my base. Because this is actually really funny. Uranium North. Base Petrol. Base Uranium. Coal Down. 
Iron West, Petrol West. <laughs> uh, yes, typically West would be this direction. Um, oh my gosh. And I like how they're just like down. Just, no South, just down. Oh my God. <laughs> To be fair, it's an alien planet. There aren't any guarantees that north is up. The poles could be reversed, or there could be magnetic iron ore pots distorting the compass. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's really funny. Early game is dying to spitters, and binders, mid game is dying to trains, and late game is dying to your own nukes. Final state of death is when your factory dies to CPS and you lose willpower to endure it and grow it. That is very true. In that case, not only factory, the computer has to grow. This. I've done this twice. <laughs> Once you hit the UPS limit, you build a new computer. So far, I have not dropped below 60 UPS on my new computer, but I am determined to make that happen at some point. Trains are a constant threat to all players. Yes. <laughs> Especially exterminators. Unwearable. <laughs> 100% cotton. 99% cotton, 1% viscose? I don't even know what that is. Bottle green, surely you meant circuit green, yes? Bottle green. <laughs> Why do they have extra small size t shirt? There's no room for expansion. <laughs> the engineer must grow. The engineer already did. <laughs> oh, this. Um, but the entire thing has 1% ink. Okay, is that what that is? Ink? Viscro viscose? <laughs> Accurate. Loading crack pipe. <laughs> crack is less addictive than this game. That is very true. Where I play hours with a half full joint in front of me. Had to build over the lake to withstand Max Aliens pressure early game pre-017 nerf. Nerf? This is a buff. They did not nerf aliens, man. <laughs> he built on top of the patches. Lock up, boys. <laughs> oh, no. A white lamb on the left. Robots in disguise. <laughs> Mm, just bought Factory with a friend. We have no idea what we are doing, both coming from Satisfactory. Looks like they're doing pretty good to me. Damn. It's a lot better than my set. some of my setups. Yeah, it looks like you're doing fine. <laughs> Luna Factory, a great game that will probably suck your time into a black hole. Next you'll know it'll be four in the morning. Five pieces of advice. Okay, those are like game advice. <laughs> Thought it was more humor. <laughs> um... This is actually really impressive, dude. I feel like going from one game to the other, though, it does make it easier. Like, going from Factory to Satisfactory, after I learn, like, just the general differences in the games, um, Satisfactory was, like, pretty intuitive. Like, it wasn't that difficult. Um, so I think playing one and then going to the other is way easier than just starting one from scratch without having played the other. To get to limit my input, I accidentally made 47,000 production science packs. I was wondering why I kept running low on steel. I mean, that's like maybe like, that's like one mining productivity research down the road. So, you obviously have a steel problem, not a limit problem. <laughs> yes, exactly. Now you have to make 47,000 of each other types for balance. In balance, all things should be. They'll get used eventually once you really get into infinite sciences. 46k will be around in here. Yeah, pretty much. Um, I think that's it. Is that it? I think so. Oh, wait. No, that was an ad. Okay. Um, anyway, really great this week. <laughs> I say this every week, but this, I got some really good laughs from this week. <laughs> Oh man, people's comments and posts are, are hilarious. I love this. I hope you guys are still enjoying it. Um, really, really great, creative, funny stuff every time. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it, guys. Uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Last note, in case you happen to be super observant and notice I'm recording this on a Saturday, 
uh, because I'm going to be gone pretty much. I'm going to be not able to record pretty much all day tomorrow, Sunday. Uh, and I didn't want to accidentally not be able to do it. So sorry if there's a post that comes up like overnight that's really good that I would have gotten, but I didn't because I did it early. But uh, I'd rather have a video than not. So anyway, take care, guys. Leave your thoughts below. And until next time, I look forward to seeing you all. And do take care.